What's up everybody? Good morning. Welcome to day number 28 and uh, this is 28 vlogs in a row just for you guys. Hopefully you uh, have all been enjoying this. I've been talking to so many people behind the scenes and uh, just been working to improve these videos and give more value. So again, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Uh, right now I'm actually prepping up a lot of my uh, items that I purchased. Retail arbitrage, thrift store items, pawn shop items, uh, garage sale items like this bicycle helmet and a few other things that I came across. So uh, prepping all this stuff up right now and once I get it all prepped up and take off all the stickers, I actually forgot one right here. And uh, that's key, you do not wanna have stickers on your boxes when you send them out. I've talked to several people who have gotten dinged negative feedback on their Amazon FBA account because they missed a sticker from Goodwill or from wherever it was. So make sure you peel off all your stickers before you ship it out. So yeah, I'm just peeling off all the stickers and uh, once, I do, once I do that, I've got some more boxes over here with stuff. I'm going to uh, pretty much uh, bubble wrap the electronics that prepped up, list it, and uh, ship it out. So I'll touch base with you guys soon. I'll bring you along on another day and let's have some fun. All right, so it's about 1.30 and um, we actually decided to stay in today. Uh, the rabbit really wanted to go to the football game, but I had to make one of those tough decisions and just stay in and get work done because I literally had no room. I'm still prepping on my items. I was up until about 3 in the morning doing some work last night, and uh, they're pretty much all prepped up. Most of them bubble wrapped. I still have a few other uh, items. Obviously, I did not spend $99 on a calculator. Negotiations and bundling, but uh, yeah, going to finish this up and ship it out. Getting ready to do some laundry, which, oh my god, I need to do my laundry so bad. And uh, got the rabbit. What are you up to, man? I'm uh, just finishing up the shipment. I've got a stack of ink that I need to put in here, and then I'm just about done. Awesome, yeah. So one, one of the things I want to share with you guys that I'm going to be doing in my business is uh, I'm going to be uh, getting inventory labs. So definitely be on the lookout for that. I'll be sharing how that works for me. I know you've been using it for what, a few months now? or I've been using it for, I started shortly after I started FBA. So. Oh, okay. Cool, man. So you recommend it to like pretty much anybody? Absolutely. It yeah. cuts my prep time in half. Awesome. So uh, yeah, this is all the items uh, that we're shipping out. Uh, the rabbit's got a bunch of, uh, is this all toner right here? It's printer ink. Oh, printer, printer ink. And you just got to make sure it's not expired, right? Correct. Cool. So uh, yeah, a lot of stuff, man. Uh, are you? Are, do you have everything already listed in the system right now? Oh, uh, no. No, so he's getting there. I'm getting there. We'll update you guys soon. I'm going to go out and get some food, uh, do laundry, get a workout in, and I'll see you guys soon. All right, so I'm just walking to my car now. going to go out and get some food. Not sure if I'm going to get a salad or maybe a little egg breakfast, even though it's uh, about lunchtime right now. Pretty windy out. Nice day, though. About 80, 80 degrees, I'd say. So going to uh, get some food, let my laundry... Uh, get done and uh, yeah move on with the day I got a lot of stuff to do when I get back to the hotel room and prep it all up and finish the shipment so I'll all right so I just got done with lunch got myself a fabulous grilled chicken Southwest salad from McDonald's and I'm gonna be real with you guys I'm getting sick and tired of those salads so it's gonna be time for me to find a new favorite you know lunch salad or something to eat uh, something that's healthy so anyways uh, over here doing the laundry making the magic happen and uh, rock it out with a little Tide and some Gain Island Fresh, which I'm gonna be using to dry my clothes and keep them from wrinkling and smelling good. So it looks like I'm on my final spin. So uh, once this is finalized, I'm gonna throw this in here and uh, dry these puppies off. Ooh, looks like it's all done, sweet. So what's going on, Rabbit? I was at a thrift store in uh, I don't remember the name of the town. It was some town in the middle of nowhere in Kentucky, and I had no cell reception. I picked this up for two dollars. I uh, couldn't really research it. What I, is it? It is an adapter for a um, drill battery. Okay. The wrong size charger. I picked it up for two dollars. I had enough service to be able to look it up and see that there was nobody on the listing, but I did not have enough service to check the price history on Camel Camel Camel. So I bought it just as a gamble to see what it'll do. It's worth $21. Wow. Is that something you commonly do is like if you don't have service but you're like somewhat sure like it's like worth the risk and reward, you'll just go with it? Mm -hmm. If I don't have service, I go on instinct and uh, instinct alone. Have you ever gone outside like left the store and maybe there was like 10 or 15 items you left the store and you went and actually tried to find service before or do you just usually pop on it? Sometimes I'll do that if it's like a higher priced item. Like if they were asking 10 bucks on this, I would, um, well, 
there was no service anywhere outside either. But if there was service outside, I would you know, go out there and look it up then. Sure, sure. What do you got over here, man? Uh, I paid $4 a piece for those. I actually negotiated. It was at the same exact thrift shop. I negotiated down to four dollars each. Was it? A, it must have been a mom and pop, right? A mom and pop. Yeah. Thrift uh, store? Yes, it was a local independent charity thrift shop. Cool. And what do you think these are gonna go for? You got them for eight each, or? Um, I, no, I got them for four each. Oh man, this is on a hazmat review. I don't remember. I think these are like 15, 20 bucks each after fees. Nice, nice, awesome. All right, so I'm still working. It's about uh. 440 right now and I've been processing for a while. I got done with my laundry, editing videos, and uh still processing all of this inventory. So it's definitely been a long day today. And uh, you know, I apologize for not giving you guys, you know, normal, amazing content, going out in the field and thrifting and hustling. Hopefully, uh the rabbit and I will go out tonight and do some retail arbitrage. That's the plan right now, but I still have to finished processing all of this and I mean it's going on and on. I think I have well over a hundred various SKUs. All right, man. So why don't you tell everybody what you're about to be doing over here in the corner. It looks like you got a little setup. I am printing labels for all of my product that's going out. I have, what did I say, like 348 units going out. Couldn't see it with the, uh, with the darkness. Wow, that's a lot. 348? Yeah, 348 units going out today. Holy moly. I get, like, one of my most common questions that I get regarding, like, Amazon FBA from, from like, the new folks is, like, I don't understand labeling, like why do you have to put a label, like I don't get it, like what's the easiest way you could explain it to like a newbie, like labels and how to label your products and whatnot for FBA? The label tells Amazon whose item it is. I might be sending in a particular game, but there's you know a hundred other people that sent in that same game. The label is a unique barcode that will tell Amazon that that is your game and not you know someone else's. And is it difficult to be able to print labels? Do you need a certain machine or can you just use a printer and get like... Sheets from Walmart? You can use any printer and sheets from Walmart, although they are cheaper on Amazon or sites like Uline or Online Labels. Uh, you can use any type of printer, although you're going to be going through a lot of ink if you're using an inkjet printer. Your best bet is to use a laser or a thermal. Absolutely. Let me show them what I'm working with over here. Excuse me. Actually, I'm, I'm not going to step over this wire. So what we're working with here is a Brother 2270DW uh, laser printer. I got that on... Uh, I think Slick Deals, it was running a sale for like 40 or 50 bucks. You can get these really cheap, so check that out. Laser printer, we have the 30 count Avery labels right next to his head, right there. So it's just a really uh, cheap setup and it works. So once you pretty much uh, prep all your items, you print all the labels out. So he's gonna be printing out over 300 labels. He's gonna take each one off one by one, stick it on the products. Then he's gonna put all the products in a box, weigh the box, close it up, tape it up. Print another label and it's done. So uh, that's a short little summary right there, but it's really not a complicated process. I always tell people, you know, don't get overwhelmed with it and just never get started. You know, put together three or four items and just ship out your first box. Learn the process and once you do, you're gonna be so much more comfortable. And before you know it, you're gonna be in a hotel, traveling the country, sitting on the ground with your laptop on a bubble wrap, getting ready to ship off of a random. I gave you guys $100. Yes. Would you sleep in this random bed, which is in the middle of a hallway? I don't know, I feel like this bed has, uh, you know, been through its best times and is starting to go down on the decline. I don't know. All right guys, so uh, I'm almost done with my shipment and uh, it was time to take a break. So uh, I'm gonna do a workout real quick, uh, real quick, probably 60 to 90 minutes. I'm really stepping up my game. So I'm probably gonna do a little jog on the treadmill then maybe some weights. So uh, I'll touch base with you guys soon and uh, I can't wait to just go in the pool, jump in the shower, get cleaned up and head out. Been in the hotel all day, I gotta go. All right, so I just got on the treadmill and uh, my goal is to do about 20 minutes jogging and then I did five minutes warm up and I'll do five minutes cool down. So I'm gonna be in here for about 30 minutes and then I think I'm gonna do some, maybe some weights or some body weight exercises. I think I might actually do legs because I trained upper body the other day. So uh, let me uh, continue this workout. It feels good. All right guys, so I just got done with my workout a little while ago and uh, took a shower feeling super refreshed. I'm looking forward to going downstairs, going outside and uh, maybe doing a little retail arbitrage. The rabbit's gonna be staying in. He's got the Green Bay Packers coming on and he's trying to get his shipment out, which I can't blame him. I'm gonna get my shipment done when I get home. I just gotta print the labels, throw those puppies on, finish that up, 
and uh, box it up. Also got to pick up some batteries, uh, do a few little odds and ends, but you guys are coming along with me, so hopefully I can give you some form of entertainment today. I know it's been a little, you know, down and easy, but let's go outside, have some fun, and uh, come along. All right, so we're just rolling out now. Look at the beautiful sunset, can barely see. What a nice night out. It's about, I don't know, 65 degrees right now. Just beautiful, beautiful day. So we're actually heading out to, hey, Google GPS. We're going to uh, Walmart. We're gonna do a little retail arbitrage. We're gonna pick up some batteries, uh, a few other odds and ends. So uh, let's go out and uh, also I'm getting hungry. So you know what time that means. All right, what's up peeps on the streets? Just pulled up to Walmart right now. And the cool thing is across the street, I'm not sure if you can see it or not. I don't even know if the sign's in sight. There's a Target right across the street as well. So this is gonna be a double whammy, okay? We're gonna be hitting up Walmart, seeing if we can find some deals for retail arbitrage. Um, really wanna thank Riesel Rad because he's taught me a ton about arbitrage and finding deals. And you know, a lot of the stuff I kinda knew already, but it's it was it's been so long since I've actually done it and really looked hard and like went through the process that it, it really motivated me and inspired me. So thanks, uh, thanks, Rabbit, and uh, we're gonna go in here try to find some deals. Like I said, not we're gonna go to Target, but either way, I'm bringing you guys along. Let's find some money and hopefully I can teach you something. All right, so I just got out of uh, the clearance section and there were so many people there, I couldn't really uh, bring out the uh, camera because it was just. I don't want to creep people out and get them on camera if they weren't comfortable. So anyways, I'm just walking around looking for the batteries. Can't figure out where they are, but um, yeah, there was no real deals over at this particular Walmart. There were a few kind of like on the fence ones. There were these uh, filters, but it just, there wasn't enough profit. And one thing you need to realize is with arbitrage is like a lot of these stores, when one does clearance, the next one does as well, which means the market gets flooded and you gotta sell them fast. So you gotta make sure there's enough profit. So anyways, I'm gonna keep moving around, see what I find, and then I'll uh, go over to Target. All right, well, speaking of the devil, I was just walking around and I saw something sitting on the shelf, a Coleman Power, power Cooler 120 volt adapter. And uh, as you can see, uh, $24.97 was the original price. Looks like they put an $8 price tag on it and then they reduce it to three bucks. And here's the listing right here. I know it doesn't focus too well, but Amazon's in at $15.24. After fees, I would get $10.07 minus my investment. So I'd make about seven bucks, which means I would make about a 200% investment. Not big money, but not bad at all for just walking around. That should pay for my batteries. All right, sweet. Looks like there's more clearance. This is a whole completely different aisle. So I'm not sure if there's gonna be anything worthwhile in here, but let's start scanning and uh, who knows, maybe we'll get lucky. And I did find my batteries for my scale. They finally died out after like two years. So uh, let's scan away and I will update you soon if I get lucky. looking interesting it looks like we got some whole house replacement filters look at the price 59.43 marked down to 10 so let's scan these and uh, see if there's a deal all right well I'm about to be heading out of here um, didn't find anything else that one item that I did find which I thought would be a good deal right here this replacement filter which was you know marked down like I don't know 90% or something it must have already been on um, discount maybe at a lot of other stores because there was like a ton of sellers FBA sellers and they drove the price down to like $15 so it wasn't worth anything but uh, I'm gonna keep moving around see if I come across anything but probably not so either way let's go to Target all right and you know I can't forget my healthy food got about eight 
Granny Smith apples, some watermelon, some beautiful grapes, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna be feeling good after this. Let's find a register. All right, so we're just pulling up to Target, and when I say we're, I mean myself, because the rabbit's at home, aka the hotel, doing his thing, watching the game. So I'm gonna try to find some deals in here. Um, been having a lot of success at Target the last few days, so maybe I'll be able to find some more deals, but you never know until you go in. So uh, yeah, let me wipe the, the watermelon juice off my face. I just plowed down uh, some watermelon pieces for Walmart. So I'm feeling good, I'm hydrated, so let's find some deals. All right, so here we are inside of Target. I'm gonna look through the baby kids area, and then I'm gonna go to electronics, then probably I'm gonna go where they have all the, the fabrics and whatnot. And uh, just go on the end aisles because I know there's a lot of deals around there. So let's snoop around. I kind of already know what I'm looking for. So uh, that's a lot easier when you already have success at one, you know, at one Target or one Walmart or whatever store you're at. Because then you could actually start looking for those items that you know are profitable. So uh, yeah, let's poke around and uh, maybe we'll find some deals. All right, well, here's this, the first section of clearance, but most of this is only 30% off. So I'm typically looking for the, um, the 50 to 70%. That's what seems to do best and what we've been having the best success with over the last few days. So I'm going to kind of poke around here and just see what is going on with the discounts. Like that's 15%. Um, what's this? That's 30%. 15%. Uh, 30%. I bought one of these actually the other day. I think it was like eight or nine bucks. So I'm gonna I'm gonna kind of scope this place out, see what I find, but uh, I'm gonna keep on moving. All right, so just popped on my first arbitrage deal. It's by Sony. It's for PSP, a car adapter, um, and it was originally $19.99. As you can see, they dropped it down to six bucks, and I scanned it. It's going for $19.99 new, 12,000 rank, which isn't the best. It's a little high, but it'll sell. And uh, after fee, you should make about seven or eight bucks. So I'll be able to double up my money on that. All right, so just found my second uh, retail arbitrage find today, and this is a twin sheet set for the U.S. Army. Originally, they wanted $21.99. They knocked it down 50% to 11, and then it looks like they knocked it down again 70% to 6.58. So I'm I'm gonna end up uh, about doubling my money on this. So not bad, up to about $14 so far. All right, so I just came across another pretty big score. And uh, these are some, uh, I believe it's pure uh, water filters, and they're 1076, marked down from 36. If you take a look on the app, it's going for about 28 right now, which leaves about eight or nine dollars worth of profit, which isn't you know double the money but it's a little less i've already got a bunch of these that i picked up and sent in or i'm going to be sending in and uh i don't know if i want to pop in anymore because i know the market will probably get flooded if these are all being sold off at all the places so i'm going to think about that but just want to show you that there are deals to be made out here all right well here we are we're going to get some dinner and uh gotta figure out what i'm going to eat i think i'm going to get this right here looks good Right here we are. All right, guys. Well, I'm just leaving Denny's right now, and uh, really enjoyed my meal. It was awesome. The uh, Santa Fe skillet that had the eggs over easy with the roasted onions, peppers, potatoes, and a little bit of sausage. I could only eat about probably 70% of it and I just left the other 30% because I don't know I've been just eating less exercising a lot more and my appetite has just gone down so uh, I feel good about that just enjoying a little coffee right now Denny's coffee is awesome so uh, shout out to you Denny's for that but uh, I'm gonna go back finish up the shipment and go to sleep but just want to thank you guys for watching another vlog I really do appreciate you guys following me along and uh, yeah have yourselves a great night I'll talk to you guys soon